Mm -hmm. That's it, a hundred percent. Whatever, whatever, and it's color of jig, style of jig, all this kind of stuff. It's whatever you have confidence in. Don't be afraid to experiment. And I've got to say that because I do that all the time. Uh, now, when it comes tournament time, that's a different story. I I do all this experimenting and fly, and all this different fun stuff just because I like to fish different ways and try different stuff and experiment with different stuff, different things. Um, but yeah, when it, if, if I if I want to go out, if I've got company coming in and I want to go out and really catch some fish, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus in on one thing and do one thing with one style, style of fishing and type of fishing to what what's been working. And the same thing in a tournament. But there's nothing wrong with trying to figure out new ways to catch crappie. Some of them work and some of them are just horrible mistakes. But you know, I'm used to that. Um, any other questions on line? Okay, then I want to talk a little bit about jig heads, and I'll, and I'll pass this around because uh, I know y'all can't see that uh, from where you're sitting. Uh, but just like anything else, you know, a jig head's a jig head. It's pretty easy. You get something that weighs about an eighth of an ounce or sixteen. It's it's good enough. Yeah, yeah. Ninety-nine percent of the time it is. But just like anything else, you can sit there and tweak and, and, and have different styles and different kinds of jig heads for different situations, different weights, different sizes of hooks. And I put all, I glued all these on this board and wrote on here what it was and I'll pass this around so everybody can get a look at this and see the different sizes of jigs and what's all available. Um, the way, these, are, these are by weight here. This top one is a half ounce jig head with a one-aught sickle hook. Now, that's a big sucker. But, and, and I don't use that one very often, but I used it Sunday on Richland Chambers fishing a brush pile in 28 foot of water with the wind blowing 15 to 20 miles an hour. That's about the only way you could consistently keep that jig down there, feel the brush, and maintain contact with that jig and not get hung up. So there are certain times that that's, that that's a good jig to have, uh, to have in the box. Quarter ounce, uh, these are quarter ounce jig heads, one aught, number two. Um, for those of you in, that get confused, and I know I get confused all the time, it's kind of like below zero and above zero. Um, hook sizes, when, you, when you're talking one aught or whatever, the bigger the hook, the bigger the number. One aught, two aught, three aught, four aught, the hooks get bigger. Um, on, but once you go the other side of that, the, the next smallest hook to a one aught is a number one. Then it's then it goes smaller. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. The hooks get the hook sizes get progressively smaller. Okay, so that's a one aught. That's a number two. Here on the one eight size, that's a one aught. Number two, number two, number two, number four, number six. Is the hook is it, a number six hook is a much smaller hook than a number four hook or a number two hook. That's the way those sizes run, and this this will kind of help illustrate that too. If you if you get confused about about hook sizes. Um, the main thing, there's basically two different types of hooks. I mean, you know, there's thousands of different types of hooks that you can probably tie or, or put a jig head on. But for, most of the time for crappie fishermen, there's two basic kind of hooks. One is just a simple regular bend, eagle claw hook, regular, regular hook. Just a regular hook bend like everything else. The latest and greatest is the sickle hook. Um, I think the main difference that I found in using a regular bend hook and a sickle hook, um, and again, I don't, I don't think one is better than the other. It just depends on the circumstances and the type of crappie jig that you match it up with. You, you can't tell it from up here, but, but when I pass this around, you can kind of see this is, a, this is a number two regular bend hook in an eighth ounce. This is a number two uh, hook with a sickle hook. Okay, if you've got a two-inch um, rocky top jig, uh, full body jig or whatever, and you put that on this hook, the gap between, and you run it through the center of that jig, the gap between the edge of that body and the barb of that hook is going to be less than the gap between the body of that hook and that sickle hook. What that means is you've got more hook sticking up out of that jig with a sickle hook of using the same size and therefore 
a better chance to get hooked up into whatever it is that that jig touches. If it's a crappie's mouth, that's real good. I mean, and that's why I like those sickle hooks uh, because uh, most of the time, I mean more than a majority of the time, the crappie that I catch on a, on a sickle hook are hooked back in the roof of their mouth, right up in the top of their mouth, and I mean that, that point is just buried up in there. Solid hook set. Um, I, I, lose, I personally lose more fish on a regular bend hook, uh, especially if I, don't, if, I don't, if I don't try and match the hook size to the, to the size of the tube that I'm using. Like if you got a two inch, if you got a, a small little two inch tube that you're using on this one, then you got plenty of gap there between the edge of the tube and that hook point. If you've got, uh, if you're going to try to use that big three inch tube or an umbrella jig, Southern Pro umbrella jig or something like that, you need to go to a hook to get that gap up. Now, sickle hooks get hook, hung up on the brush, I think, easier. For, again, there's more hooks sticking out there, more to get hung up, but you can tell when I pass this around, in most hooks, the sickle hook is a lighter wire. So most of the time, those will bend out easier and you can get unhung a lot better. You don't get hung as often with the smaller hooks, but they're, they're, uh, they're easier to get out. So I'll just pass this around. This gives you some different ideas. I think the main thing to realize on this, again, it's what you have confidence in. Uh, but don't, if you're just out fishing for fun, I don't, I don't, I don't think it ever really matters. If a fish flap, flops off at the boat, no big deal. If you're tournament fishing or you're really right, wanting to put some fish in the boat, take a little extra time to make sure that your hook and your jig match up right. You don't want to take, you don't want to take this one knot hook and put a little bitty inch and a half um, uh, bubble belly on there. I mean, it, it wouldn't look right. That's way too much hook sticking out there, and it wouldn't fish right. But at the same token, you wouldn't take you wouldn't take a number four sickle hook and put a three inch tube bait on it. You just don't have it. You're going to miss too many fish. So that's that's the main thing in, in trying to remember what you're doing on the hooks. Do you like the head plain lead? Do you like the color? Uh, Match the color. Ninety nine point nine percent of the time, I fish with plain lead heads. I don't I don't color them. Um, a lot of people do now. The hand-tied jigs, you know, obviously those are colored. I, for me, every now and then I've seen it make a difference. Very, very, very rarely have I, have I seen it really went where I could tell that there was a difference. Now, when you were talking about the tube, you want to use a tube jig with the tube rather than use a regular jig head? You like using a regular jig yeah, yeah, and even if it's even if it's a, a hollow tube, I still just put it put it right up there on the uh, on the hook instead of putting it putting putting the the jig head up in the body. But ninety, my, almost all of the tubes I fish with are solid body tubes because they hold up better, they last a lot longer. Oh, one more thing: keeper versus not no keeper. You know that little the little barb that's made onto the onto the the head. A lot of people like keepers, a lot of people don't. Um, I think most of the time it doesn't matter, if, depending on the style of fishing that you're doing. Um, I'll use, for most of my fishing, I'll use either uh, a number one or a number two hook on, on a one eighth uh, or a sixteenth or a quarter ounce jig head. Um, and if, I'm, if, if you can get the tube up on there and you're just fishing uh, standing timber or pulling it through brush piles or whatever, your tube's not going to slide off or slide back unless a fish bites it or you get it hung up in the brush. Um, so you don't have to worry about the keeper as much. Some people like the keeper, some people don't. Some people just glue it on, super glue. I've tried that. I got tired of coming back to the house with my fingers glued together, so I quit using the super glue. But, you know, it just depends on, it depends on, uh, again, what, what you like. Um, we, we sell, all of those on the board, we sell them and we sell all different kinds. And we've got guys that, that order that say, I don't want anything but a regular bin hook with a keeper. Everything I use is number two. And the next guy says, oh, I want some of this and some of this and some of that and some of this and some of that. Yeah, yeah, it just, it doesn't matter. But just don't be afraid to try different things. If you're losing a lot of fish, if you're having a lot of fish come off at the boat, think about your jig and the type of hook versus the size of the body that you're doing and that might make a difference.